Good morning. So I'm going to be doing a morning routine. And so it's just going to be kind of what I do in the morning to kind of prepare for the day. Um, starting out in the bed, obviously, I'm about to get up. And I always, first thing I do whenever my feet hit the floor is I make up our bed. And um, whenever I get up, I'll have to show you, but um, it's been really cold these last few days. Um, but usually it starts off with Drew getting up, he gets ready, he has to leave for work. And I'll stay in the bed sleeping for about another hour. And so he will take my phone off the charger and lay it beside me um, on the bed. And then he usually, most of the time, especially if it's really cold, he wraps me up in this cocoon. And so it's so hard for me to get out of bed because it's so comfortable. And so it's like he almost tucks me back in, but he puts pillows all around me. And then he turned on the fire for me this morning, the little fireplace that we have in our bedroom. We don't usually sleep with that on at night just because I don't know how old it is. I got it off of um, like a yard sale website. And so I don't want it to go dead on us because I love it so much. So we don't really sleep with it at night, but if it's really cold, and the mornings before he leaves to go to work, he usually turns it on for me. So I guess we'll try to roll out of this bed. Okay, see, this is how it looks like in the morning. I'm laying in the middle of all of this. How am I ever supposed to get up? So I guess we'll go ahead and start making up this bed. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I set reset the um, diffusers in our bedroom. These actually um, act as humidifiers also, so it's like a two-in-one. We absolutely love them. We turn them on um, at night again, and they have like a 10-hour run time, so they last all night long. But in the mornings, whenever I get up, I like to reset them again. And so I'm going to end up putting Sacred Mountain in Drew's, and then I put Yiling Yiling in my diffuser. And then... It has different run times, so I always do the third setting because it's the longest, and then I like to use the um, lantern flicker, like the little candle flicker. So now that's set for the day. Next thing is we're gonna clean up in the bathroom, put up Drew's clothes, his favorite Crocs, and just kind of straighten up in here and then start kind of getting myself ready. Now that the bathroom's clean, I'm gonna use this eucalyptus oil to get going in our bathroom. And then this one is the Desert Mist Diffuser. This one is the one that I got. Um, most people get with their basic starter kit. I spilled some water, gotta get that up. This one also has like a 10 hour run time, so I do the third setting and then again, the candle. It has different color settings also, but I just like the flickering of the candle. So, that is set for the day. Where I got the cute little snowflake stickers from. I got those from um, a girl on Etsy. Her name is Molly Holt. I will link her down below. She has lots of cute little decals um, for your diffusers, for um, little sprays, anything really you can imagine. She has really cute stuff on her little Etsy shop. So I'll link her down below. Okay, so next we obviously are gonna brush our teeth. So 
So I am gonna get my Thieves Whitening Toothpaste. I love this stuff. My mother-in-law were both dental hygienists and I worked um, as a dental assistant for a few years. And so I used to bleach my teeth all the time and then I heard that Young Living came out with this whitening toothpaste and I was like, well, let me try that. And I have not bleached my teeth since I've been using this stuff. I really love it. You just need like a really small pea size amount. And so I'm so thankful that they just came out with this, I think last year around July. And so this was like one of the greatest products because I don't have to put that bleach in my mouth anymore. I can just use this and it's all natural and my teeth stay really white. My little box of goodies. I got this a lot of people ask me from Home Goods, and so I think it's supposed to be like a makeup brush holder or something or makeup, but I use it to have my oils in here for the morning and nighttime routine. And so there's lots of different face washes that I purchased, but my favorite to use in the morning is either this orange blossom, but today I'm gonna use this uh, satin facial scrub mint because I just love the scrub in it, and this one smells so good. This one smells really good too but there's just something about this mint. It just really wakes me up and feels refreshing. So that's what I'm gonna use today. I do have I do have the Art Skin Care Collection by Young Living. Um, I love using this one. It smells good too. It's more of a um, real romantic scent. It just doesn't smell as good as the Orange Blossom or the Mint one. So I always use this one at night anyway. I'll kind of swap up between all of them. Am I the only one that does this or do you all swap up your uh, cleansers daily too? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know if I'm the only one that swaps up my cleansers or does other people do that as well. And so, like I said, this one is the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer. But today, I'm just going to be using the uh, mint scrub. And then also, I'm going to be using this. Um, the, all this is 100% witch hazel. And so, I like to use this as my toner um, the days that I'm not using the uh, um, art collection. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, we are really up close and personal now. So, like I said, I'm gonna be using the Witch Hazel Toner. Um, my face feels really good right now. I love using the little scrub, especially in the mornings. So I'll just use this, and then I have one little bad guy right here. I already guessed, this is the one that I'm gonna use on that little blemish. And so I am just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and then rub it in. I'm actually almost out of this one. I went through two of them, so I'm gonna have to go to the cabinet and get another one. Some people mix their oils with a carrier oil. It's more of a fattier oil, like coconut oil, but I don't like to. I just like to rub these straight on me. The only clean moisturizer that I have, um, so I'm gonna use this one. I know you're supposed to use a moisturizer every day. Sometimes I don't because like I said, my face feels so greasy, but it feels a little dry today. So, I'm just gonna rub that all over me. This is the rose oil that I like to use on my face, but it has a carrier oil in it. And so, since it's gonna make my face feel greasy, I just like to roll it up under my eyes. And then the very last thing that I do is I like to apply my lip balm, just kind of keep my lips uh, moist throughout the day. My well, lips stay dry. I don't know about y'all. Look, I know this is gross and I was going to clean this up last night, but I knew I was shooting this video this morning. So I was like, no, I need to show y'all um, my Thieves Cleaner. It's all clean, all natural. A lot of y'all already know about this. This is just makeup too, so don't get that grossed out. So what I do is I just use, and this is under my cabinet. I got this cute little bottle from uh, my Amazon shop. And then I got this cute little label from an Etsy shop. And so the Thieves Cleaner, I'll show you in a minute, but it comes in a big bottle and then you just use one cap full of Thieves Cleaner in here. And I've had that Thieves Cleaner for over a year. I got it last April, not over a year, almost a year. I got it back in April and I've even shared um, a few capfuls with a few uh, friends and family members and I still have some. So it's $22.50 and by golly, this stuff has lasted for forever. And so just gonna spray that in here and clean my sink real good because it needs it. All clean. 
Um, I know I talk to y'all about this stuff a lot, but this stuff amazes me. And a lot of y'all say, well, why don't you just use uh, bleach or does it clean as well as bleach? Well, for one, whenever you're cleaning with bleach, you know that you don't get a very good aroma. It kind of makes you cough. It just does not make you feel good. And so you also don't even want to breathe that stuff in. Like you kind of want to wear a mask to clean with it. But this stuff smells really good. It has like a spicy scent to it, almost like cinnamon. And so you can add like lemon essential oil in there to kind of give it more of a citrusy fresh smell. But I love it just how it is. all about the um, video. If you could follow me on my Instagram page, Simple Lake and Lace. There's a video in my highlight section called Thieves Cleaner, and it's actually showing a video um, of a lady, and she puts raw chicken on her kitchen counters, smears it all in, and then she uses a little test strip um, to show how dirty um, and contaminated the countertop is, and so it's whenever she swipes it and um, clicks it, it shows like highly contaminated, it's like disgusting. And so all she does is she uses her face cleaner and sprays it on there and wipes it clean and then she does the test strip and then she gets another test strip and does it again and swabs it and clicks it and it shows that it is completely clean. So this stuff cleans as well or even better than bleach. I've actually seen studies where I fully believe myself that it cleans better than bleach. But you can go look up the studies for yourself. And like I said, you can go follow me on Instagram on Simply Luck and Lace and you can definitely see that little video. It amazed me and so now I'm able to show people this does clean as well as bleach and it is not harmful for you to breathe in. You will actually love the smell of it. I kinda wanted to show y'all these um, deodorants that Drew and I use, um, just because they're not Young Living. We tried this one. Drew and I were not crazy about this one. They do have one that's green. It's called Citra Guard, I believe. And that one is our favorite, but they're out of stock. I think that one's everybody's favorite. So we had to find some more that we loved. And so my cousin Kayla told us about this brand. And so Drew and I are really starting to like these now. I have a lot of people that said that they could not use them. It irritated their skin. And my cousin Camille said that she's pretty sure it's because of the baking soda that's in them. So just be careful if you do decide to get this brand. If you start to get irritated, that's with anything else. Just stop using it. But that's just what I've heard, so I wanted to warn y'all. But we have not had a problem, and we do love these. I got these at Target. They were a really good deal. They rated a zero on this app called Think Dirty that Drew and I love to use. A lot of our friends and family have started using this app. And so what it does is, I'll try to pull it up and actually show you it. But you can pull it up, scan your items, and it will show you on a scale from zero to 10, 10 being the highest how toxic and harmful to your body that um, products are that you are using and buying from the drugstores. And so since these rated a zero, I've been very satisfied with them. I'm so happy. They were really inexpensive, $5 a piece. Actually, uh, Target had a deal going on where if you bought three, you got a $5 Target gift card. So basically I spent $10 and then I got a $5 gift card. So that was really nice. And so this one's probably my favorite and then Drew loves this one. And will y'all comment down below so other people can see and I can see for myself um, any other deodorants that y'all like to use that Ready Zero on the Think Dirty app just so we all have um, different deodorants that we can use because we've tried Young Living's. Like I said, the only one that we absolutely love is the Citra Guard and it's been out of stock so we need more options. So love this brand. Y'all tell me what y'all think. So here's the app. It's called Think Dirty. You can download it. You can scan your items, but I um, don't have it with me to scan, so I'm just going to pull it up so you can just type in anything. And sometimes if the scanner doesn't work, you can type it in. And so I'm going to type in this brand, and it loads it up for you, and then you can find the deodorant that you're looking for or any other product they carry and see it rates at zero. And then it shows um, all the things that it does not have in it. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pull up another brand, which is the Dove line. And I'm going to show y'all um, what they rate. And most of them are an 8. And so, we'll scroll through and show you that. And it will show you what all ingredients it has in it that makes it so toxic. So, I just love this app and I recommend it for everyone. to my bedroom again. My hair is really dirty today. And it's kind of greasy and I need to wash it tonight. But I'm going to the gym later this afternoon. Um, actually... Eli and Alyssa are coming over in a little bit and they're going to play around with me and then after they leave I'm going to go to the gym with my cousin Kayla and so I think I'm just going to leave my hair in this just kind of keep the greasiness away from my face and if y'all know me I don't really wash my hair all the time. Um, I have too much hair to wash all the time and I hate washing it all the time so I, I will use dry shampoo um, and usually that's what I'll do if I was actually getting ready to go somewhere today but I'm not. I'm going to be sitting around the house so this is how I'm going to look. And so, um, next I go to my little 
daily protocol i like to call them my happy little oils and i love putting these on me and so i was going to show y'all what i did there's actually a sweet lady that sent me this and she asked me what i wanted it to say and so drew and i chose if creation sings your praises so will i because i fully believe these are made from god's plants that he put on the earth and for us to enjoy and use and so we are all about natural healing. We definitely go to the doctors when we have to. We just try to do things every day as like a little protocol. And so I love putting these on me. This is how I use like my perfumes. Instead of using perfumes anymore, I'll use my oils. And then I wanted to show y'all after I put on all of these and how I apply them, I actually have one of these to give away. And I'm gonna tell y'all how to enter that giveaway for one of these cute little oil blocks. So let's see if you can see it. We're gonna start with Joy. And so I'm gonna use the joy and I like to apply this over my heart. This is just what I do every day, um, especially whenever I'm getting ready to go out somewhere. And so I can actually smell these on me all day. I get lots of compliments about how good that I smell. And so I will use that and then I will take Valor and I put this on my wrist, just like this. Hold it there for a second. And then I just kind of rub it in. And then I like to take White Angelica, and I'm not gonna do this the way that I usually do it because my hair is up and I don't feel like taking it down. But I like to take White Angelica, and I will, um, if my hair is down and fixed, I will actually like move my hair over. I don't drop it right on the crown of my head because it makes my hair greasy, but I move my hair over and try to get it right on the scalp, like right on my skin. I'll put like two or three drops, and then I fix my hair back. So like you can't see um, where I applied the oil. So I love doing that, but since I'm not, I'm gonna put that on the crown of my head today and like when i put on the crown of my head i'm telling y'all i really smell it all day long it's amazing i just learned that a few months ago and it's like my favorite way to wear my oils but i don't feel like fixing my hair so i'm just gonna put it on my neck and so with the white angelica i'll put that on the crown of my head and i usually rub it in like this as well but y'all are just seeing me do it this way today and then i take highest potential and so that's why whenever she asked if I wanted this oil block, I was so excited because I could put my everyday oils that I love to use right here ready to grab and reach. Um, and so it fit them all in here perfect. So then I take highest potential and I pull my shirt up and I rub it around my belly button. I don't know if you can see. But I just go clockwise around my belly button and rub it in. And I smell amazing right now. I love this stuff. Okay, and then Abundance, I don't use this one all the time, but I just have it sitting out with all these because I love the smell of it too. But I have, and I had an extra little slot left. And so what I'll do with this one is if I decide not to put um, White Angelica on my neck and I just put it on my head, then I'll put Abundance um, around my neck. Or if I have on my diffuser necklace, which is just like lava beads, then I'll put it on my um, little diffuser necklace. So that's how I like to use Abundance. There's a few more oils that I like to use. I'm not going to church, I love using the Believe Oil. Um, if my hair's down and fixed, I'll take Sensation Oil, put it in my hands and rub it in my hair. It's kind of like um, putting that like a frizzy serum or something. I like using my essential oils for that. I'm also going to do a nighttime uh, routine video if y'all want me to. So just comment down below if y'all would like to see those videos also. Um, and I'll try to get more of these in. Now that we're through in the bedroom and bathroom cleaning up and getting ready for the day, then... I'm gonna come in here and work on kind of picking up the kitchen. Gotta put dishes away. I've, we watched The Bachelor last night, and so I have to put up some more cups and then put all of our blankets away because it's a little messy in here. I'm getting my Yeti full of water ready and then I'm gonna use um, Young Living Citrus Fresh Oil. 
um, to drop in there. One drop, it has lots of different citrus oils and then a hint of spearmint. I love that one, but I'm gonna use the one in their Vitality line. Let's drop that in. So Young Living is the only FDA approved essential oil that has a line. It's Young Living's Vitality line and their white labels. And so that's the only ones that you are um, able to ingest. So I don't recommend ingesting any other essential oil, but since Young Living's are uh, FDA approved, then I use that to cook with. I like to drop them in my water. I can personally put peppermint on the roof of my mouth and it opens me right up, makes me feel a lot better. So I love peppermint for that for like a minty fresh breath. Um, you can use peppermint to put in your hot cocoa or your brownies. And so I just wanna give y'all that little tidbit, but I love having this little splash of energy in my drink. And if you don't love plain water, then this is definitely the way to go. Throw those bananas away. Okay, so this is what I'm doing for breakfast. I bought these from Sprouts, and so this is just a little granola bar, and it's the Harvest Berry, and I love this one. It tastes really good. So I'm always like a breakfast on the go. I don't have to have a big breakfast. I kind of snack throughout the day. So this is what I'm going to eat today. Have my water, and then I'm going to take some of my vitamins this morning. I am loving so far. So I take two of these in the morning. And then I have my multi-greens and my essential limes. So these are some of the ones that I've purchased from Young Living so far. I was never big on taking vitamins, but I love the way that they make me feel. And so you're supposed to eat um, with taking these, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm all about trying to get my gut healthy for the new year. start kind of working on cleaning up the living room picking it's really not bad it just needs my blankets and pillows fluffed and put up and then I see a few cups and so as I'm drinking my water I kind of go around and pick up a few things around the house that is the first thing I absolutely love to do get up make up my bed clean up my bathroom get myself ready and clean up the rest of the house while I'm eating breakfast and uh, sipping on my water. I love getting my day started like that. Started with the clean house, my diffusers going. I'm a little OCD, so I like the house to be clean before I can do anything else. I've showed y'all that I have these little remotes. They're on my Amazon shop. I'll link my Amazon shop below. And these are so awesome to have because all you have to do is point it and click it. And there you go, all your lights are on. And so that was super handy. Also the Desert Mist Diffuser, like the one in my bathroom. But Miss Althea gave me this cute little um, house. It came from Walmart for Christmas. And so the like um, top of the diffuser wouldn't fit all of it in this house. So I took it off and I just used um, the base of it, I guess. And so I put it in here and it's so cute. The smoke rolls out of it. I wanted Drew, but I'm not gonna ask him to do it now because I'm about to redecorate. And so my plan is for next year, I want him to cut a little hole out of this and so the diffuser smoke can come out of here. And I think that'll be really cute. It'll look like a little chimney going. Okay, so here's the chai tea latte that I'm always talking about. So here it is, it's the skinny latte and here's the brand, if I can move my fingers. And so, let's see if I can get this positioned right so you can see how I do it. Okay, so what I do is I pour a little bit of this in there. You're supposed to do half and half, so I put my chai tea and then you can put milk. 
I use this Sprouts Organic Almond Milk. We like almond milk. We don't drink anything besides um, like almond milk now because it kind of upsets our stomach. So I'll put half milk in there. And then I like to put this almond milk creamer. And this is pecan caramel. Again, I got all of this. Well, I got all of it at Sprouts besides the chai tea. They do have that chai tea brand there, but it's not the skinny latte. And so I like getting the skinny latte. So I get that from a Target. So I'll just put a little bit of creamer. I'm gonna turn it on medium heat. And this is actually a pergulator. Y'all ask me about this all the time. I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to use it. I got this from an antique store and I really love it. Um, it's a Pyrex pergulator. So I think you can find them on eBay, but what you can do is you can set this down inside of it and then you put your coffee grounds in there and then it pergulates and that's how it makes your coffee. And so that's how we make our coffee now when we want coffee. I don't have a Keurig anymore just because I found this and I absolutely love using it. And then it comes with this cute little lid. And so that's how we make our cappuccinos, hot chocolates, coffees, any of our hot beverages, this is what we use. So now I'll just leave this on here and let, uh, let it start boiling just a little bit and then it'll be ready to go. I'm waiting for my chai tea to warm up. I took Maddie and Jeff outside. I was gonna film us out there, but it was so cold. So we kind of got uh, in and out. I put them out there on their little leashes where they could run around for a few minutes and let them do their business. and. Um, then bring them in. Usually I let them stay outside, but it's really cold today. That wind is fierce, so they probably won't like it. So whenever they finish up, I'm going to bring them in. So I had to come back in. I took my tripod out there and everything, and oh my gosh, my tripod is freezing now. So there will not be any filming outside today. So I'm going to use my little magnolia mug that I got from the silos. My tea is just how I like it, the right temperature. So... I'm gonna pour me a glass and go sit down in the big chair. Mornings, I like to grab my calendar. And like I said, this isn't an everyday routine because my days change. Um, this day I knew that I had an easy morning so I was gonna film for y'all. Um, not now because it's too cold, but the days that it's warmer, I'll either go for a run. I love going to the gym. Um, I was doing that a lot last year. I hadn't started back as well since since Christmas has been here. Um, like I said, I am going to the gym this afternoon, but that's not part of my morning routine. Um, I think whenever it starts warming up outside, I love going to the park and running. And so I need to incorporate that into my morning routine as well. But for today, um, Eli and Alyssa are supposed to be here sometime around 1030. So I'm just going to take it easy, kind of plan out what I want to do with the, um, plan out the rest of my week. And then, um, so I like to look at my calendar and see what I'm going to do. Text the people that I'm wanting to hang out with and do things with. And so I got this cute little calendar at, um, TJ Maxx. And it comes with a little gold pin that slides right there. It's in, the, in here somewhere. There it is. And then I have this cute little From Grits to Grace. This is a little devotions from the farmhouse porch. I love this. My friend Amber got me this. And so I have lots of different devotions. Um, so I'll just kind of pick one to look at throughout the day. And so I'm, I sat down with this one today. And then um, my iPad. Um, I like to go on my Instagram page, figure out um, what I want to post. Usually I po try to post something in the mornings for everybody. Just a little good morning and see what everybody's doing. And um let me see if i can pull that up so you can see our instagram page first thing that pops up is the thieves cleaner this is from another lady that i follow so this is that bottle of thieves cleaner that i just use a cap full to make that size and so i don't have many messages i like to go through my messages kind of see what's going on here and let's see i wanted to just show you all my highlights since we we're talking about that thieves cleaner uh right here this is what i was talking about so you just click it if it will load and then you click here and you watch it i'll show y'all just a little bit of it but you'll have to go follow okay. me on instagram to see the rest September, so this is what's going on going right she's got now. her raw chicken in her thieves cleaner uh, something like that. anyway so i keep lots of things in my highlights this is our instagram page so be sure to go follow me Simply like and like. And then for those of you that do not have an Instagram page, I have a Facebook page as well. And so everything's trying to load up, but you can go follow me 
on Facebook or Instagram. Okay, remember in my bedroom that cute little oil block holder? Well, here is the giveaway and how to get entered. So, crazy for oils lady. You can follow her on Instagram. And then here's her Etsy. And so, this is her little card that she sent me. And so, whoever wins this, I'll be sending this over to you. So, she actually sent over for us to do a giveaway of this cute little block that says Crazy Old Lady. And it's got the five slots. And then also, you'll be getting, they got herbs in them, dried flowers. Yeah, it looks like dried flowers. Little roller balls that you can use for your essential oils. Put your carrier oil in and then your oils. So, this is the giveaway. And so, this is what you're going to do. This is how to get in. Posting this on my Instagram and Facebook page. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go over to Instagram and Facebook, Simply Lake and Lace. I'm going to post a picture of this, a little setup for a giveaway. You're going to comment on it, and you're going to tag three friends, and you're going to tell me what your favorite essential oil to use is and why. Okay? So I'll put all the details over on the picture on Instagram and Facebook. So go follow me over on Instagram and Facebook and find this picture. And I'll show you what it looks like and everything on my ipad i'm about to take a picture of it load it up there and then i'll show you where to go and what to do how to enter to win you just go find me on instagram or facebook click this picture and then you can hit more and then it shows you the giveaway so here's how to enter follow me like this picture tag three friends and comment your favorite oil and why and then i say that the winner will be announced january 31st so that is how you enter and like i said you can do this on facebook or instagram and so i think this is a really cute little gift really sweet of her to send over oh and i also tagged her let's see you can go to her page and you can see her name is julie and so you can see some of the um little blocks that she does she also has an etsy page also but it has to, oh look there i am so you can go kind of see some of the things that she does and creates oh that's really cute all for my morning routine today i got to start getting ready for Alyssa and eli to get here let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these videos again i said i was going to do something like a night routine um a day in the life maybe some more shopping hauls so y'all just let me know what y'all would like to see more of please don't forget to subscribe to our channel we love having you over here and i will see y'all next time see y'all later